This is Greg Trotwine with Maritime Reporter TV. Uh, we're here in New Orleans at the Workboat Show, and we're happy to be joined by Captain Todd Sims of Torquedo. And Todd, first and foremost, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity, Greg. Uh, it's good to be here at the Workboat Show again. The Torquedo name is quite well known, uh, but for those who perhaps don't know the company intimately, can you give us a brief overview of who is or what Torquedo is? Sure, sure. Well, we're glad to hear that Torquedo is, is well known. Uh, we've been a company since 2005, came to the U.S. in 2007, and about two years ago we were acquired by Deutz Diesel out of uh, Cologne, Germany. So the manufacturing, the R&D is all done in Germany. Uh, in the U.S. we have a sales and service office in the Chicago area. Okay. Well, you're kind of at the tip of the spear. Obviously, this is a transcendent time in the maritime industry with, uh, with a strong focus on emissions reductions. Yep. Uh, and I understand also that you have some uh, fairly interesting recent case studies, including a new autonomous boat. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, so we did a project with a company called Sea Robotics in Florida. They have a customer, which is a government agency. What they needed was a survey boat that could be both autonomous as well as operated you know, manually. Uh, but could be on station for an eight to ten day period. And what we were able to provide to them was a hybrid solution that uh, can run not only uh, in the electric only mode when they're actually doing the surveys, so you have a nice quiet vibra vib vibration free mm -hmm. platform, uh, but we can also fire up the diesel generator at nighttime when they're done to charge the batteries back up for the next day. Okay, so that, that project, it's in the water now? It's in the water now, yep, um, and we hope there to be uh, many of that style boats to follow. We've done a lot of the autonomous uh, vessels in the, in the low power category, but this is the first one with the high voltage, high power motors. Also another, you know, again, electric autonomy. Uh, I understand also that you had an interesting reference with a trash collection uh, uh, ves vessel, and again, can't, can't uh, throw a stick these days without reading something about trash in the ocean. So why don't you tell us a bit about that one? Yeah, so what a great match this was, because uh, if you have a boat that's designed to clean up trash, plastics, and, you know, debris floating around the water, why would you want to propel that, that boat with, you know, a combustion motor which is polluting uh, a different type of pollution into the water? So this is a company in France um, uh, put together a boat using uh, our high voltage system. It's basically a uh, somewhat of a catamaran style and brings the uh, it brings the trash up on a conveyor belt. The nice thing is the same batteries that they're using on the propulsion side are providing the energy for the other mechanics on the boat that has to do with the trash collection. So it's an integrated system. You're making this investment in batteries. You can use it for more than just the propulsion side. And again, not to belabor you, but it seems like you have a lot of references, including a uh, Swedish uh, sea rescue boat. Yeah, yeah. so this is, uh, 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 some people call it a hybrid. I call it an electric or diesel vessel. Uh, it's a rescue boat. They had the, the requirement to get on station very quickly, mm -hmm. and they used the diesel engine for that. The electric motors are actually tipped up out of the way for that high speed run. Once they get on station, they want to be able to uh, turn the diesel off so they have a nice quiet, um, uh, you know, work environment to, to do their, their rescue mission. They have more control of the boat at low speeds with our electric motors. Mm -hmm. So they deploy the electric and they, they do their searching when the search is over. Then they go back to diesel mode to run home quickly. Okay. Well, Todd, and again, you're very gracious with your time. I appreciate that. Um, we're here at Workboat uh, in New Orleans, and I'm sure technological evolution is uh, every day at Torquedo. Uh, what are some of the technologies that you're highlighting this week in New Orleans? Yeah, so just, just one thing I want to touch on is right next to us here, we have our, our two new 100 kilowatt motors. Uh, they're actually two different motors, but they're the same power level. Uh, the one on top here is a high RPM, 2,700 RPM for a high-speed uh, planing application, mm -hmm. and it's lighter weight. The one on the bottom is for a large displacement vessel, workboat application, low speed, uh, 900 RPM to the propeller. And the, the, the benefit of this is direct drive, no gear case at all, no transmission, one moving part and two bearings. So we basically have, other than the cooling, you know, strainers and, and impellers and pumps, we basically have a maintenance-free drive right here. Well, awesome. I hope the uh, show's been good for you. And again, we appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks a lot, and uh, hope to see you next year. Absolutely. This is Greg Trellwine with Maritime Reporter TV.